Let's use this terrible economic crisis to question assumptions behind economic theory and to rethink the role of the state, finance, and austerity in promoting growth and innovation. What Keynes taught us is that the government should not be acting like a business. A business is very pro-cyclical, invests a lot during the boom, little during the bust. Government should do the opposite. Certainly Europe is facing a number of enormous challenges. At some stage a decision has to be taken to recognize that these policies, what we call the austerity policies of reducing incomes, simply will not work. Came the crisis. Uh, then you see that the investment goes down sharply. And at this moment, there was a decision, a political decision, to increase uh, the role of Benny Diaz, in, including uh, doing uh, uh, working capital that usually we don't do. So we step in. What has been done uh, in France is really something uh, very far for the basic requirement. Actually, the um, European investment on the top of the national investments, it is not enough, it is not e enough to balance the, the national cuts. That the private sector in other, other countries' banking systems has not been good at disciplining itself and has been very crisis prone. Hasn't happened in Brazil in part because the public banks both stabilize the market and do ensure that the banks serve public purposes and are not just out for speculative gain. How do you get back from the bad path, the, the current path that is recession or depression, to the good one? Both the, um, the orthodox narrative and the heterodox narrative miss. And that basic point is that the historical record shows that economic development is really, really difficult Currently, as we know, you know, there is not a very objective discussion of development banks. It tends to, unfortunately, get caught up in some ideological yeah. battles. And it's very important, I think, to really reopen up, re-engage with the importance of development banks and providing exactly the kind of things which private finance does not provide, and hence crowding in, and I would say dynamizing in. Uh, it's fundamentally wrong to, uh, to again, view the, the state as if, as if it were a private sector or as if it were operating in the, in the marketplace. The current financial flows in the world financial system are fundamentally regressive in a sense. They're largely going from poor countries to rich countries. Now we have a risk of a co total collapse in the Greek economy because the European Union continues to insist that Greece continue to impose sharp reductions in terms of government expenditures and in terms of wages. In any case, you don't need austerity. Uh, austerity is bad for growth and is bad for innovation and is also a useless harm for medicine. Countries like Brazil and China, which many people think it's just a matter of time before they enter the ranks of the developed countries. I think that that would be a misreading of the historical record. One of the problems has been that by not actually admitting the entrepreneurial role that the state has played, we have just allowed the returns to go completely private. So the more we admit it, then we also have to start thinking about the risk-return relationship because for every internet there's many failures. You know, Concord, many people talk about as a failure. Um, but when you engage with uncertainty, you know, you have to be willing to fail. It's really important to have those state investment banks as an anchor for the state banking system, in part because they have a mandate to serve the entire population and to be sure that everybody is financially included. But it's very important for this for the state to, do, to, to, to act well in a way, is, is to, to act as a countervailing power I mean, the, the Calratian term of, of, of not only sort of following whatever is the hip and cool and fashionable today, but really also going against the current and thinking, what do we have to be in 10, 20 years, 30 years? We're also uh, arriving towards the end of a major technological revolution driven by IT, and we're at the beginning of a new one, which is about green, and in every technological revolution, government has in fact led the way.